Hello again, everybody. Oh, Harry. 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 Oh, yeah, Harry. You know, there comes a time with this. You probably ought to stop broadcasting. <laughs> I probably should have quit about five years before I passed. Yeah, I think we should have quit about 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. I've been listening since 10. Yeah. I can't make anything out of it. What am I, accountant? What do I know? <laughs> we all need to deal in truth. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, what world am I living in? Scott Barker's making me laugh. Don't you feel a little stupid? Go over there this afternoon. Throw your uh, throw your worm in the water. See how that works out. Throw your worm in the water means something different in Los Angeles. <laughs> well, it means about the same thing here in Canosa. Wow. Things haven't changed. That's what I'm saying. I can't make heads or tails which part is which. Was the, uh, was a virgin sacrificed? Uh, not that I recall. We, oh. could, we couldn't find one. Not in Kenosha anyway, right? Get through oh. what you gotta get through, Scott. This program is a real challenge. Good morning, everybody. This is Uncle Scotty Barter, and welcome to the November 17th edition of the Kenosha Today Weekly Report. Coming to you live from Studio A here at AM 1050 WLP, streaming live someplace, I guess, right? Yeah. And booming across the very sunny and warm cornfields of the Midwest. Snow covered. No, they're warm. That's Oh, that's a Miami forecast. <laughs> <laughs> I think like 85 and got cornfields in Miami? Mm-hmm. Yeah, corn, yeah, corn, yeah, go back down. I've seen corn that, rows yeah. in Miami. Uh, reaching out to over 1.4 million listeners residing here in the Tri-County area. Being brought to you this morning by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eatery and Barter's Financial Planning Services, along with a host of uh, other very fine local businesses. With us this morning, my former relationship advisor, uh, preparing for the big day on Thursday, Elmo Schneider shows off his bird here in Studio 8. You know, Scotty, I wrote you a, <laughs> uh, a song for your birthday. Yeah. Keep your hand on that button. When you want to hear it now or should we? <laughs> no, 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 no. Should we let's, keep it for later? Oh, okay. let's, let's right. build up the act. <laughs> <Let's, laughs> so about 12.05 this afternoon, we'll, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll hear it. We'll cue you. <laughs> uh, so would you be considered the original Big Bird? Are you the Big Bird? No, I used to date the Big Bird. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you've been given That's the true. I'm sure you've been given the true. big Welcome bird. Welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now that you have been terminated as my relationship advisor, I understand you're... I quit. You, I quit. You, I was not terminated. Now you're calling the Terminator for turkeys all across the country. <clears throat> hey, also, my boyhood hero, our video... God, I, I thought they could fly. Huh? Okay, <laughs> yeah, remember we got to get that out of the way. That? We'll in, do that in, later. Uh, w, what was it? WRP? WKR, yeah. WKRP. No, yeah. WIP is never made a uh, no, miscue no, like that no. where they thought We flipped some birds, but we yeah. never threw any out the... Uh, uh, anyway, my boyhood hero, our video coordinator, the love doctor, Spider Ronnie the Camera Dude, joins us here at Camp Happy Face. Ronnie the Camera Dude. <laughs> and <laughs> engineering and op- board operating. The Kenosha Charlie ride this morning filling in for Wacky Wayne, who is... Um, He's on assignment on somewhere. On assignment someplace down in Illinois, I think. Well, it's a good place for him. Studio B. Uh, Studio B, yeah. Where all the, where all the equipment is. The oh, fancy the equipment. Yeah, where, where all the money where goes. Where duct tape is not uh, a where common... All the, where, where all the money goes. Where all, yeah. Uh, pushing all the buttons and keeping us from as much litigation as possible. <laughs> One of the original pilgrims that washed ashore in Simmons Island some years ago, JumboJimtronMan.com. Selvich joins us here. Hey, that's me, Ooh. I guess. Yeah. To, are, are you giving thanks that you're here? I, I'm giving some type of thanks. <laughs> we only started this, right? <laughs> yeah, we're only, we're only three minutes into the show. So uh. This week, the uh, Kenosha Today Secret Word Challenge is sponsored by Barter's Financial Planning Services. And the Kenosha Today Brain Trust has pre-selected this morning's secret word. And the first caller to say the secret word will win $20 Boathouse gift uh, oh, card. All right. Coming up after the 1030 weather break, uh, Kenosha's fastest growing game show sensation, the Lightning Round of City in Jeopardy, sponsored by the Boathouse Pub and Eatery. And then after the 11 o'clock break, this week's top 10 thought provoking category, oh. written on the deck of the Boathouse Pub and Eatery, the top 10 Thanksgiving traditions here in Kenosha. And we have a lot to be thankful for in this town, but these are the top 10. The top 10? And also during that half hour, uh, we'll be playing uh, Stump the Chumps, if anybody's interested. How's that for building up the act? If anybody cares if they're right. interested, call us, right? <laughs> oh, I, I knew this was just a matter of time. <laughs> it's, uh, sounds like my ex-wife. <laughs> 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 you, can, you guys can relate no, to that, right? No, no, no. <laughs> Spider, what does that sound like to you? That's... I, I, didn't, I just put the headphones on. Oh, oh. Yeah, just put the headphones on. Okay, well, here, here. No, this, this this was your ex-wife, isn't it? Uh, 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 
Sorry, I had to have, ask you to do that. Okay, kill, kill the band, will you? <laughs> You're supposed to be keeping me from litigation. I can just. Get, I'm keeping it tame. I, I'm on a roll now. I've got a couple of weeks without any hate mail, and here you well, are. Well, let's change that. Yeah. Uh, and there's even more, boys and girls, after the 11:30 break, our weekly. Editorial segment as the what is it almost? as the giblet turns as the giblet turns. Ah! <laughs> grown men sitting here on a Saturday morning. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see any grown men in this in this room. Uh, my mom's still waiting for me to mature a little better. And it uh, gets even better, folks. For those who might have forgotten, tomorrow at noon. Each and every Sunday, you can relive the magic. Relive the magic. Here at AM 1050, uh, Devil of Pain. Listen to the replay of the show. And then you can uh, watch the replay of this finely tuned, professionally produced excuse for radio show. Uh, and actually, I keep calling it Time Wars. It's Spectrum. They are not. It is Spectrum. Spectrum. Yeah. Spectrum. Spectrum uh, Channel 14, uh, Tuesdays at 5 and Wednesdays at 6. And speaking of uh, Channel 14, they are having their annual award banquet. Ooh. Were you invited? Today. No. They have it, have it at, at 11 o'clock. The media's making a monster out of you because they don't care about the truth. All they care about is entertainment. Well, you need a forum where they don't even know the meaning of the word entertainment. Public access television. Exactly. We, we, Ron and I hey, around. Jumbo Jim, i got to tell you, my kid won another Emmy. Did he? Yeah, he did. Yes, okay. He's got two now under his belt. No, so. That's two more than we that's, got. That's right? tough to fit those Emmys under your belt. So anyway, they always have belt. this award, and Ronnie and I was, oh, would always go to support. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the first time in 30-some years that they decide to have this at 11 o'clock, have it at a luncheon. Because they knew your show was at <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Tell us well, we've done a simulcast from there. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, there you go. Yeah, there's yeah, a fun group to be with. Well, I'm only sitting in for an hour, guys, because I, I got invited, you got a I got to, invited go to? to a luncheon. So uh, I did actually get an invite to that. Did you really? Yeah. I never got anything. Well, that's that Probably. sounds like a problem there, Scott. <laughs> like I said. Why would you get one? Are you an access producer? Well, I, no. No. You know, it's got to well, well, maybe uh, you got you know I, the right I, people. I got no people. You know, I, and here you go. I am in show business, so you know, maybe that's... Well, maybe that's the problem. There's there's no, no, no business like Oh, my no God. Business. Open that can of worms. Remember, I'm in control of the microphones, guys. Anyway, um, moving along. I wanted to thank all the American Legion Post 21 and 58 Below for hosting our veterans. Yeah, yeah. 58 Below. Last week, and... Uh, I was there last night. Oh, do you remember? I remember everything. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, 262 Hey, good news, uh, other than Thanksgiving is coming up, I had my my. This is good news for the Kenosha Today Nation. Mm -hmm. I had my uh, physical. You did uh, uh, this last week, and uh, I got a clean bill of health. Mm -hmm. And according to my doctor, um, do you, you know my doctor, Doctor Bendova? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Colonoscopy. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> gets a colonoscopy. I go to see Doctor Ben and. Um, I immediately see an opportunity for comedy here. <laughs> so, and um, see, Dr. Ben isn't your normal eyes, ears, and, and uh, throat kind of guy. Dr. Ben is more of your uh, grab your ankles and, and smile uh, okay. type, type of person. And uh, so after the preliminary nonsense, you know, the nurse tells me to strip down to my shorts. Uh, now once she stops laughing, <laughs> uh, let me take this call. Oh, we got a call? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it is. Good morning, you're on Kenosha hey, today. Can I push the button first, oh, Scott? Well, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, can't right, see here we go. <coughs> good morning, you're on Kenosha today. Hello? Hang on here. Yeah, if I, I'll, I'll start talking. Professional. To now. Like. Try now, try now. Good morning, you're on Kenosha today. Did you push the right buttons? He doesn't know. <laughs> Obviously, if you're on the other line, he did not. Hey, Shirley, uh, <laughs> happy, happy anniversary. Oh, hi. I saw, I, thank you. Is that Jim? It's me. I saw, I saw that in the paper. Uh huh. It was sixty years? Oh, good grief! Yes. Wow, <laughs> oh, good grief! You're supposed to. Be. What's, what does yeah, your husband say a, about it? Quite a milestone, I tell you. You put your husband on. We want to get his uh, twist on sixty years with you. <laughs> he, he's deer hunting. Yeah, sure. You got him locked up and duct taped in the closet. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. I said, and my husband are deer hunting. So is he going to be home for Thanksgiving? Oh yes, 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 yes. He will be. Yes, yes, Absolutely. yes, yes. Absolutely. One, one yes will do. Them? Yeah, is he going to bring what? 
You know, I remember. Well, that. I hope a deer. He got one last year. We we like venison. I know how to cook it good, and it's it's very good. It's good for you. It's very, it's not much it's, fat. It's, yeah, it's very it. lean. Yeah, yeah, we don't care. Very lean. I, I care. <laughs> some years ago, some years ago, a friend of mine goes deer hunting, comes back after a week, and so uh, his wife found his rifle. In, in the, still in the closet. Mm. So uh-uh. he, she says to him, well, how, how, how was the hunting? I, well, I saw a lot, but I didn't get any. So he comes back in with his uh, gun case, and what was in there was a pair of pink panties. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think they made it to Christmas, uh, that particular I bet not. Oh, for <laughs> kind of sounds life. like you got something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's own way of stuffing the bird, right? Hey. Sounds like it. Yeah, oh, my gosh. You know, uh, yeah, so, but, Jim, how are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, Shirley. Shirley, I asked the questions here. In case you might have forgotten. No, sure, I can always turn his microphone off, and yeah. you and I can just have yeah. a conversation. Yeah, push always, the right button. Yeah. You know, speaking, right of, button. speaking of deer hunting, over 500,000 500, permits were issued. Wow. So you got about a half a million crazies up there. Uh, I don't think I call them crazies. That's a I record mean, low, actually. We're going to get to a, uh, is there, yeah, it used to be up about 700, some, wherever I had this thing. So uh, we're going to get to my deer processing um, deal a little <laughs> bit later. And today is National Baklava Day. Really? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. <coughs> well, what would you bring it up for? Shirley knows. Shirley, tell us what, tell, tell us what that baklava? is. What's baklava? What's uh, baklava? I really don't know. I've heard oh, of it, but I I I don't know how to make I mean, you know, it. But and and today is also national it. Eastern Europe, European food. Today's the actual National Bread Making Day. Oh, that I make. Uh huh. I got apple Scott's bread just, in the oven Scott's right now. Scott's just shaking his head. What's going on with what, this show? What are we doing? What are we doing here? We doing here? I mean, uh, <laughs> it's Scott. Before I forget, Happy Birthday uh, on Friday, right? Yes, ma'am. Happy birthday. Uh, numbers are I wrote a song for Scott's birthday. And, and we're oh, going to listen to that. Oh, did you go? you got to sing it or Mike. play it. We're going to wait a little bit for this. <laughs> Maybe one. we'll run out of time. Yeah. Oh, 12, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, yeah. it's 12.05. Yeah. Keep listening. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Are you 67? Uh, I'll Use the magic number. 69. <laughs> 69? Oh. The numbers are getting a little bit on the big side here. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's great. But I, I did... Uh, have my physical, and I started to tell you about that. Uh, you know, so this gal has me stripped on my shorts. I, I'm going I'm to have to take another call, and then I'll get to this. Shirley, nice talking to you. <laughs> yeah, nice talking to have you, Have a nice Jim. Thanksgiving. All right, there we go. Uh, good morning, you're on Kenosha Today. Gentlemen, good morning. Who's this? Oh, this is Tim in Lake Bluff. How are you guys doing today? Oh, good, Tim. Nice to see you. Or nice yeah. to hear you. <laughs> So what's hey, going man, on? It's, it's it's nice it's nice to hear Shirley on the radio. I don't get. Oh, don't that. don't yeah. say that Tim. Yeah, because 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 that never happens, right, Tim? Yeah. It's, it's no, a, I, I mean it, I, it's a rarity. I mean, I, they flip it on and there's a replay, and there she is again. It's like every hour on the hour. Yeah, but it's guys like Fantastic. you. It's guys like you that encourage her to do this. <laughs> well, I still before the end of the season, I want to get one of my stocking stuffers. It's going to be one of them made by ten. I heard she had a table set up the other night signing, so <laughs> that's, hey, that's incredible. That's true. Man. That's, uh, yeah. you, you called to tell me that? Don't you got something else going on? No, I was, I was curious. Do you guys know when the wrecking ball is going to hit the Dairyland Greyhound Park? Well, they're working on some developer from last I heard to come in, and uh, after if, if you drive past her, I don't think it's going to take the wrecking ball uh, too much because it's almost falling down now. Uh, yeah, the windows are all out. I know there's wildlife living in there now. Yeah, is it really? But, uh, I worked there. For, <laughs> I worked there for eight years. Hey, did you ever? You I, that, were you there when? That's uh, why I'm calling because I, I really love to. I really want to hear Jim to say, "Here comes Barney." Again. One more time, oh, no, by no, popular no, no, request. No, no. Come on, come on. You, he, uh, you got a guy from Tim from Lake Bluff called. I in. got paid every yeah, single time I said. We'll this. pay you. We'll pay you. You're gonna pay me. In barter I want five bucks. <laughs> I want five bucks. Take a collection. Well, we well, just, all right. You, you all for right. Tim one time. Here for you, Tim. And this is probably the last time I'm ever gonna do this. Sure. This today. <clears throat> Here comes Barney. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, that's <laughs> lame. It, it is, used to it be. Lame. Here yeah. comes Barney, and well, you gotta drag it out. You got to be in the moment. You got to have that. that, that <laughs> you got to have that bone going around, and, <laughs> and the gates open. You know, and, and yeah, he's moving. You know. So, Tim, you got anything else you want to hear? <laughs> no, I. You know, I, I just. Uh, I remember back in high school. I remember. See. I remember in high school, <laughs> my shop teacher used to always say that I couldn't clean out my car because I had a, 
a slew of old racing programs in there. Nice. And uh, you know, I had a collection going at one point. Uh, so what'd you? What'd because, you uh, let's see. My, I think my senior year back in the uh, early '90s, I I pretty much uh, found a way to get out of uh, afternoon classes and spend most of my time at the dog track. So where'd you? What'd you do with the so, uh, old Playboys that were in there? Uh, well. You kept yeah, those, they right? were used. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember. I, okay. I remember. I started a small fire in there one time. I, I think I was escorted out. At the dog track, <laughs> or in the back seat of yeah, your car. Losing tickets. <laughs> that losing was, tickets. Yeah, losing that, tickets. That was, a lot that, of losing tickets. That was you. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Uh, were you eighteen? Did you? I remember the dollar beer night too. As uh, one dollar beer night. As a young twenty-one year old. Uh, Ten cent beer. Dollar That's beer night was uh, was a was a big thing. We tried to slam a beer every race. That yep. was uh, now. Wait a minute. That I... was great till about the twelfth race. Okay. Now you just hit on something. You said you were twenty one, <laughs> and you were still 21. in high school. How'd that work out oh, for you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was in. I was born and raised in the city of Kenosha. See? Well, oh, oh yeah, product of the unified school system. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, That's right. You know they but just. I, I, I... I tell you? these people that I work with down here that they don't have a town because they don't have a streetcar, see? Well, <laughs> I, hey, we got five. You want a couple? <laughs> we'll no, put, no, I said it. It's a I, I, I listened to the other. No, it's, a, it's called a streetcar, see? Yeah, oh, I, and, I, uh, I, I get that. We, Good imitation, yeah, too. We, hey, I see. We've, I see. Got, we've got one, and you and you know a lot of towns don't. They, don't. they don't know what they're missing. I mean, I tell all people all the time that, you know, if you're lucky... If you're lucky on the 4th of July, you'd be hard-pressed to get on one of those any other day of the year. Well, they're pretty much available any time you want it. Sure. We'll, we'll put them a couple of them on the tollway and send them down. Just give us a little hey. word. Hey, yeah. I'll tell you what, I don't know what we'd have, what we'd have in Kenosha without a streetcar. Uh, so right. I'd be I'd be without Downtown. material, one thing. <laughs> I've been at this for 20-some years and without the trolley. And it is a trolley, see? Um, I call. I refer to it as a streetcar. Uh, it's we, a streetcar <laughs> line. <laughs> okay. I know where you're going. I remember <laughs> the day that it was brought into Kenosha. <laughs> so and so had a first ride on it. See, and and who got who got murdered in the back alley in in, uh, in those years? Well, we, uh, we like to talk about cold cases from the 1940s. <laughs> 1940s. And I, I think we better quit this uh, oh little boy. dialogue. Let's talk about it now. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> Back in this day, oh boy. in Kenosha. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, I really would like to uh, to just uh, be there when that when that thing actually goes down. I would like to see it, that. It we were, we were it, 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 I got a lot of good memories in that yeah, place. Yeah, I got a lot of bad memories. But, you know, we're, we're thinking about, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I was talking to some uh, former co-workers. We were thinking about everybody getting together and watch the Wrecking Ball knock it down. And uh, Oh, you know, that would be cool. Yeah, sit around drink, hey, drink beers. There's a lot of people and, still that, that uh, there was a lot of regulars in there, yeah, there were. that I hung around with, mm -hmm. and they're still <laughs> friends of mine to this day. Yeah. And uh, we lost a lot of money. Sometimes we won, but mm -hmm. very rarely. Yeah. Hey, you know, but, you get all uh, these... We did have a good time in that place. It and, was, you know, it was and fun. Hell, even when the dogs were gone, it was still fun to go in there and plunk a, a few bucks down on some horse tracks. You know, yeah. I would love to go with a spider and with a camera out there and have all these people sitting around uh, having some beverages. And just as the wrecking ball hits, uh, have Jumbo Jim here one more time. Here comes Barney and I'm down the thing. Oh, goes. They, or they dynamite the whole place. Yeah. Up it goes. Well, That's maybe we can get the bone to race around the track as the wrecking balls. Yeah, we'll put a bone in uh, Jimmy's. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but why Why would we want to destroy old things? We could always restore them, see. <laughs> <laughs> like the Roosevelt Theater. I still can't believe the Roosevelt. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. That, was, okay. that, oh, boy. that is a great impersonation oh, there. That's, keep calling us. I love it. All right, thanks. All right, thanks, Tim. Why don't you guys talk about Studebaker? <laughs> 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 Bye, Tim. All right. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> I was, uh, uh, that wasn't pushing the envelope too close. To the no, end, we're fine. It? We're fine. Nobody knows we're what good. we're talking we're about. We're good. Anyway. There's no allusions to body parts. There. Okay. okay. Now, I want to get back to my physical before we... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the gal tells me to strip down to my shorts, you see. And she starts laughing. And I said, what's, what's, the, what's the humor here? And she points to the mirror where the little caption says, some objects may appear larger than they are. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, the doc starts after all of this, uh, you know, he's interviewing me about um, what I, if I smoke and what I eat. And so he says, do you, do you have, uh, take any alcohol? And I said, maybe a couple for dinner. And he says, how many dinners did you have? 
last <laughs> night. So, so then he starts putting on the gloves, you know what I mean? And I said, you know, I'm looking around this room and all of this computerized lab stuff. And I mm -hmm. said, isn't there a better way to do this? He says, bend over and <laughs> get your ankles. Well, I finally figured out where the guy's class ring is now. Oh, hey. So, hey uh, <laughs> but... That's not exactly how my <laughs> physical went, but uh, <laughs> hey, then then I, I go I go for my lab work, and this guy's got a mark. He's a marketing. Was it a black lab? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow lab. Yellow lab. Uh, Golden doodle. <laughs> Golden doodle. <laughs> what happens is, what happens? Give me is, a cup. You guys go fill this cup. Well, I did, mm. and and I get uh, a twenty dollar rebate once I get the stool samples back. So I got. Uh, That's a small chair <laughs> prototype, right? <laughs> Prototype. A small chair prototype yeah. is a stool sample. Well, I got this whole elaborate thing. I might have to. I might get away with not having a colonostomy, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think there, there's somebody wants to look up there. I don't know okay. why. But, All right. Um, anyway, we start to <laughs> talk about Thanksgiving. <laughs> You're the photo album. It's all yeah. Talk about stuff in the turkey. Hey, you know, for those that uh, are looking for deer processing, uh, I don't know if you know this. The Kenosha today, uh, you kill them, <laughs> kill a ban. <laughs> That, that thing's gonna be That's dead good. by noon here. Uh, is, is this this is great? I, I, not, not to interrupt I like you, but that. not to interrupt you, but I am. They actually on uh, on YouTube. There's ten hours of turkey gobble. Just complete ten hours of just gobbling. I turkeys. think you better How painful. Pick, pick up that phone, call nine one one. Get yourself into some kind of therapy program right now. I'm begging you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, I, I, when the when the uh, mm. all right, okay, when the uh, when the uh, what you call it came out, the schedule came out, and you yes. were listed um, to come in here. Yes, I, I told them at the production meeting, and they said, "Yeah, we're going to sit through two hours of uh, farm animal music." Yeah. I said, "No, he's he's much more mature than that. He won't yeah. ever do that." Right, right. That's all. Old eighty songs in there too. <laughs> And you just wait. <laughs> we have our, We're only a half hour into the show. We have our own Kenosha Today uh, deer processing. We do. Uh, the guy operates out of a, uh, it's actually more of a um, Jiffy Lube deli type of thing. Oh, okay. And the guy works out of a uh, pink uh, 67 uh, Volkswagen minivan located in the Boathouse parking lot. And uh, he's, he's got it's an empty... It's red, though, isn't it? it no, this one's pink. <laughs> or is it salmon? The kiosk that's outside under the bridge is red. Or it's salmon. And we're going to get to that. It's salmon. Color. Salmon. Salmon. You know what the head butcher's name is? El Chapo Booze Man. Lavender. <laughs> <laughs> El Chapo. El Chapo. El Chapo, anyway. All you right. you want to hear the, uh, the way he tenderizes meat? <clears throat> Can we leave that as a teaser and come back after a commercial break? Yeah, yeah we, we could probably do that. Let's, let, let's do that. Because... We'll yeah, I'll read mine, and then we'll... Okay. Let's take this phone call first. All you... right, Scott, here we go. Good morning, you're in Kenosha today. Hey, gentlemen, this is it. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. This is do you know, what, you Rick. Know what, do you know what show you called? <laughs> well, actually, I'm listening to you, uh, one of the apps, and you just got through with the Scott Barter um, uh, physical piece here. <laughs> <laughs> And I thought, just when this show could not sink any lower. <laughs> oh, it's Anthony. I didn't even recognize <laughs> Anthony. I thought you were banned from calling. Yeah, I, I, we heard that all oh, you old yeah, man I, banned just, you from just calling. Just when I thought, you know, you guys have plumbed the depths of radio <laughs> humor here. You guys go into the bowels. You break that. You break that basement floor and keep on digging, man. Well, thanks for thanks for being there and listening to us. We heard all you. We heard uh, through the grapevine that you guys were banned from calling here. Who said? Well, we'd rather not say, but that's what we heard. Yeah, well, I, I you know, be, I do what I want to do when I want to do it. <laughs> hey, I'm well, such a lovable person that I am, right? So, so we, we have, have, we have, have the, the right Anthony, Anthony Kennedy on the line. <laughs> yeah, cr <laughs> crickets. <laughs> <laughs> so Anthony, how much are you doing for Thanksgiving? Save this show. If we're talking about Scott Barter's bowels, man. We you definitely <laughs> needed a lifeline here. So. Well, uh, <laughs> Elmo's got a <laughs> Elmo's got a question for you. Go ahead, Elmo. Anthony, how much are you eating for Thanksgiving? That's a... How much am I eating what? For Thanksgiving. Are you on the three turkey minimum or maximum? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the barter house. 
three ounce turkeys in barter house, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, uh, I was going to get to. Uh, you want to hear my uh, <laughs> kill? <laughs> <laughs> if you thought he found something, he found something smaller than uh, <laughs> pigeons. Well, they're like well, Cornish hens. No, too big. What do you got smaller than Cornish hens? We have these little starlings. <laughs> yeah, give me a couple of them. <laughs> Hummingbirds. <laughs> hey, are you the? Are you seriously? Did I read See, that's this? That's humor. Right? See, that's humor. What What I did was I took your bit about really small steaks and I transferred it to poultry. Started out with Cornish hens because they're small, and then I went smaller. You see how that humor works? And I'm not even talking about your butt anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, everything is smaller, we harder, better. <laughs> we don't even have a laugh track to add for, for this, but uh, we don't need one. Hey, did I read correctly? Now, are you the city council president? I've been a city council president since April, Mr. Barter. Well, how did, how did that miss us? We, we didn't know that. Way to stay on top of things, man. That's why I like this show. It's, <laughs> it's current and, and updated. We were just discussing uh, Dick Nixon's run for president uh, coming up here in 2020. What do you think of that? Did you say Nixon? Yeah. Like, is he, still, Nixon? is he running again? <laughs> oh, you are calling the mayor. Richard Nixon. I no, 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 no. Careful. We thought, we thought Nixon was running. Careful, uh, careful, run. councilman. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the heck you're talking about, but then that's par for the course with this show. Hey. So like, <laughs> hey, I got a question there, uh, Mr. City Council oh, President. Another one. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I see your uh, uh, great do over public works department uh, has to redo the sign down there at, Pike's, uh, at the Pike River outlet because apparently the, the Spanish isn't good. And so, uh, I guess it's no bueno. No, no bueno. But they, here's, they, here's there's humor. They all brought that one back. Yeah, I want to <laughs> teach you humor yet, there, Scott Barter. Here's what you should do on that sign. I know you can put it. You don't need. You can just put pictures. You swim here, you will die here. Pretty simple, don't you can think? You That's what that I said. Spanish for me. You, just, you will die. <laughs> die. You will die. That's all okay. I said. Okay, okay Andy. Letters. Well, I, I hope you uh, have all that uh, turkey and mashed potatoes and all that other fixings that you probably put down. And if you if you run out, come over to Barter Manor because it looks like I'm going to be these, alone. These, these, Thanksgiving is really difficult for me because I don't know if you know this, but I'm African American. Shocking! When did that happen? We don't care about that here. <laughs> when did that happen? I don't see yeah. color. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling everybody you and I were twins separated at birth. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Andy. I would kill myself if I was... <laughs> I got to take another in the call. Womb. I'd kill myself in the womb. <laughs> well, now we got to get an answer to those people. You can, so. can hang yourself the umbilical cord. <laughs> yeah, That's it. Know, yeah, right. hey, have a great Thanksgiving, Anthony. I got to go. All right, next call. Uh, it's nice to hear from him. Yeah, it is. Good morning. You're in Kenosha today. Hey, good morning, guys. Jeff from Kenosha. How are you? Okay, Mr. Jeff. Mr. C, how are you doing? Okay. okay. Not too bad there. Not too bad there, former neighbor. Yep. What, hey, you... uh, a couple things. Yes. Uh, I really enjoyed last week's show. The veterans did a uh, great job, yeah. They, they certainly did. Is there anything in the works for Kenosha working with the VA to get uh, little houses for homeless vets like they did in Racine? Well, that's all supposed to be combined into one. That that whole thing is to my understanding. Hello, everybody. This is Uncle Scotty Barter, and welcome to the November 17th edition of the Kenosha Today Weekly Report. Coming to you live from Studio A here at AM 1050 WLIP, spreading the love, as you heard when uh, Alderman Anthony Kennedy called in. Boy, there's some real warmth there. There's definitely a lot Melting the snow <laughs> in the 17th district. With, with Anthony Deere, there's always a lot of everything going around. <laughs> He's a great. No, he's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite people, and he. But knows we that. were really twins separated. Did you know he we actually were. delivered um, uh, <laughs> uh, some ice cream sandwiches to me one day? Were they eaten? <laughs> no. <laughs> Half eaten. There's, there's bites out of every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Here's, the, here's the tin foil. <laughs> there's no chicken sandwiches. No, involved. he's a great guy. <laughs> I posted on my Facebook. I, I wish somebody <laughs> delivered ice cream sandwiches, and he calls me up. And he goes, "Hey, <laughs> you still need those ice cream sandwiches?" <laughs> You you don't want those those sandwiches, do you? Oh, what a great guy! He pulls around in front of my house with a with a box with, of ice cream with, sandwiches. With one or two, and he ordered twelve. Oh no, he had a he had <laughs> he had a, he had a whole box of popsicles <laughs> in the car for him. <laughs> there's travel and you know there's expenses, right? We are coming to you uh, 
on the Red Hot Airways. Oh, hey, look at that. Melting all the snow <laughs> in the southeastern Wisconsin. Over 1.4 million pilgrims Illinois. in the WIP listening area that uh, surrounds us here at Camp Happy Face. And out of that 1.4 million, I, I wonder how many are actually giving thanks uh, for the Kenosha Today show this year. Sounds like Anthony Kennedy's they one use, of our biggest. They usually players. do it around noon. <laughs> Thank God we're done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hey, I was I was being I, I was <laughs> no, that's you know, good. I had that's a good. life uh, experience. You know, we just don't talk about you know. That's right. You know that I have a physical, and you know my life's on the line there. I mean, I had to did you say physical? And, no, don't no 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 no. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, Again, so. we in, invite you to join the thousands of fans who have already liked us and signed up uh, on Facebook. And we are brought to you by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eatery and Barter's Financial Planning Services, along with a host of many other very fine local businesses. In the House of Warmth this morning, my uh, former relationship advisor and now in charge of stuffing birds for all over Kenosha, the Turkey Terminator, Elmo Schneider is here. Elmo? You know, got, I still have that birthday song to sing for you. Okay, well, we'll Someday get to it. Someday we're all gonna be dead. <laughs> okay. Someday okay. we're all gonna be okay. Okay. dead. Okay, that ain't gonna be. Kill the band. They'll stick you in the ground. You get peed on by the hound. Someday we're all gonna be dead. All right, thank That's you, Elmo, awesome. for that wonderful selection. Now we can move on to taking Here, a phone here's, call. Here's mine. <laughs> this is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Okay. <laughs> can we take this call, Jumbo Jim? I uh, know. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Yeah. You're on Kenosha today. Hey guys, it's Tim again. I forgot one comment. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Boy. <laughs> yeah, I hope the Alderman Anthony Kennedy's still listening, but I really wanted to say thanks. Uh, I saw the snow plows were out on uh, my way to work this morning around uh, old quarter to eight. The plows were dropped and uh, sparking away on down 60th Street. Yeah. Because, you know, we got this uh, snowstorm here, and I don't know what we'd do without, without getting that max plow run at one inch of snow. I, I thought it was two <laughs> inches, but I think, it's, uh, I think it's down to, what, a half inch now? Well, well I know it's, the 17th yeah. District. 17th <laughs> District, they, they got probably the whole max fleet out there. Uh, because you don't want anybody to get stranded out in the 17th. But uh, also, a friendly reminder out there with Thanksgiving to all your listeners out there, don't flush the flushables down the commodes. There you are. <laughs> that's, that, that's sound advice. Hey, you gotta, you got to take this to a lounge act, Tim. i got to tell you. That's, I hung up on right. See, I, I like that. He, he has, says his big joke, and he yeah, just hangs yeah. up. Mic dropped. That's and it. Then He's gone. I say something that's... Uh, you know, worthwhile, like uh, the results of my physical, and I get chastised by Anthony Kennedy. <laughs> what was that, Scott? That's, that, oh, yeah. That, yeah. that sounds like little Anthony at the opening up a city council meeting. <laughs> I owed him that one. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are brought to you by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eatery and Barter's Financial Planning Services, along with a host of other very fine local businesses and um let's see uh elmo you went uh you weren't here when remember when the guy landed that plane in camp lake that uh, was wrong way elmo it was that was that, that was him wow. that was daryl oh, <laughs> and of course uh the kenosha today love dr spider ronnie the camera dude making his own mark in mr turkey's neighborhood hey do you use that fancy scale that you bought your wife for christmas uh, yeah. a couple years ago to weigh the bird throw that sucker on there. <laughs> throw that on there and <laughs> there you are and engineering and board operating the Kenosha Today Thanksgiving train wreck uh, this morning, as always, hanging on my every word. Uh, the prettiest face ever at Plymouth Rock, JumboJimTronMan.com, Selovich. Hey, weren't you the guy that was dating Sacagawea? Sacagawea what? Sacagawea. Who, 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 who? Pocahontas. I, I, no, oh, that was Mike, Captain Mike had Pocahontas, and I thought you'd double dated. We, we just got a phone call from, from, from uh, Barter Manor. It's uh, your girlfriend who's... Oh, come on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she says to bring, bring home milk, is what she's saying. Bring, bring, bring home some milk. Don't tell her to, tell her to her tell her. Sounds like she could just grab underneath yeah, and get her own milk. Let's get that ta tail out of the way. <laughs> oh, Does uh, Alpha Media have a, have a community bird? Because uh, uh, at Barter Manor, we do have a... Uh, a universal bird that's rather unique and just has the one finger. Petey the parrot? No. Petey the parrot. <laughs> yeah. Petey the parrot. He gets a little excited and falls off the perch, you know, if you got to use some visualization. I got gotcha. you. 
Uh, uh, moving along. Coming up after the 11.30 break, our weekly uh, editorial segment this week, it's as the, um, I forgot. As I'm, the giblets turn. As the giblets turn. Oh! I guess it wouldn't be uh, appropriate for me to tell um, I'm a physical of what happened you to say my physical? giblets. No, 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 no. <laughs> Of what would happen to my giblets? Oh, that what, we don't want to go yeah, there. Well, it's not that cold out, so yeah, we're okay. Also, no one in the first half hour has won this morning's secret word challenge, mm. sponsored by Barter's Financial Planning Services. And if you do, uh, we'll send you a twenty dollars uh, boathouse gift card. And uh, I do have a clue, though. No, not yet. We don't yeah, no. don't give out the clue yet, because then I I'm, I'm clo- closer to having to pay off here. Uh, the show is being recorded, right, for training purposes, for legal purposes, for, yes, uh, and litigation. Um, Special thanks to Elmo. You can find the Kenosha Today Show 365 days a year, 24-7 up on YouTube. And, of course, uh, after the 11 o'clock break, this, this week's top 10 thought-provoking category, which is the top 10 Thanksgiving traditions here in Kenosha. Hey, Scott, real quick, hit them lights. Hit what lights? The oh. Yeah. They didn't shut them off. Yeah. It's too bright in here. Yeah. Uh, you should have told me that a half hour ago. Yeah, or even during the break, you know, yeah, let's just interrupt the radio boy. show for... It's destroying your barroom pallor. <clears throat> See, he's messing with the flow. Yeah. Messing I, yeah, with the I flow. Was, I'm, I, I'm excited and, and uh, I'm, I'm all jacked up here. And <laughs> now the show has no direction. Wow. And now, boys and girls, it's time to play Kenosha's fastest growing game show sensation, the lightning round of City in Jeopardy, sponsored mm. by the Bodos Pub and Eatery. And to be eligible for uh, no one from your household could have won any contest on WIP within the last 60 days. Phone lines are clear. Do you have to do that? Yep. Officially. They are clear. Uh, I'm going to read the question, which is a very sophisticated, intelligent, multiple choice question. And if you then get three somewhat intellectual answers to choose from, and after that you will hear the... And the first caller to correctly answer the question wins a Kenosha Today $25 gift certificate to the Boathouse Pub and Eatery, located at... What is, oh, that's the music. Thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't hear it coming through. Six years ago, dude. <laughs> Six years. You threw me. It's called think music. Obviously, it's I not know for a you. good neurologist <laughs> if you need one. Okay. You're not smelling bacon, are you? Or br- Getting toast? back to my are physical. Are you smelling toast? <laughs> you be okay? Located at 4917 uh, 7th Avenue here in Kenosha. Open Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. featuring weekly lunch and dinner specials. Enjoy a beautiful waterfront view and stop in for their big Saturday and Sunday morning breakfast and Bloody Mary specials beginning at 7 a.m. until noon. And if you're also planning a party or banquet, call Joyce 262-654-9922, or you can find them on the web at BoathouseKenosha.com. All right, here's the, uh, the phone lines are clean. What is the, here's the sophisticated question. What is the best way to kick off the holiday season here in Kenosha? The best way to kick off the holiday season here in Kenosha, A, Take a swim in the $67,000 ice rink next to City Hall. B, watch trolley drivers roasting their chestnuts under the 50th Street Bridge. Or C, hang mistletoe in a pothole on Sheridan Road. First caller, 262-694-1050. What is the best way to kick off the holiday season here in Kenosha? A, take a swim in the $67,000 ice rink next to City Hall. B, watch trolley drivers roasting their chestnuts under the 50th Street Bridge. Or C, hang mistletoe in a pothole on Sheridan Road. We have a caller. Good morning, you're on Kenosha Today. Good morning. Who's this? My name is Laura. Laura, L-A-U-R-A, right? Right. This, or L-O-R-A. Uh, I knew this was only a matter of time. You got, we got that song? <laughs> Tell Laura I love her? <laughs> no. Oh, we don't have it, sorry. We'll find it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many times have you heard that? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Moving along. Say, Laura, when, you're, when your husband uh, gets mad at you, does he sing this? No. <laughs> what does he sing? You know what he's going to Here's what you got to do. You're going to sing, you know, Roy Clark passed away uh, the other day. Pardon? Roy Clark passed away, and we're going to play at the end of the show uh, our tribute to Roy Clark. Um, and you'll have to play. It'll be the last go three ahead. minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. sure. So... That's that's what your husband is going to sing to you. Okay. All right. Oh. Before I lose my train of thought totally, what is the best way to kick off the holiday season here in Kenosha? A, take a swim in the $67,000 ice rink next to City Hall. B, watch trolley drivers roasting their chestnuts under the 50th Street Bridge. Or C, hang mistletoe in a pothole in Sharon Road. Laura. Number three. 
<laughs> Hang mistletoe in a pothole on shared road. Laura, yes, a big winner. <laughs> Boy, it doesn't. Get... <laughs> um, well, Laura, uh, since you like mistletoe, and by the way, uh, we're, we have a, a down an amen corner in the boathouse uh, where we sit. They are putting up. Uh, you get that mistletoe. Uh, mistletoe being going to be hung. Your head? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, not that we're desperate or anything, but uh-huh. <laughs> every little bit helps, you know. <clears throat> I'm in the same age group as you guys, so why not? Well, we're only in our thirties. <laughs> right. It's like the second time around. <laughs> we have <laughs> Jumbo Jim <laughs> likes to play with the buttons over there. And <clears throat> yes, and yes, I do. He's still in. Uh, We're in, just having fun here. Um, so, do you like mistletoe? Then I assume, right? We do. Do you uh, do you put one in every uh, room in the house, just in case? No, just one room. Oh well, come on! You can't pace yourself. Your husband, he's probably got a hat with it hanging over there. Mm. You gotta, you know, All help right. the guy out here in the holidays, right? All right, I'll hang him more this year. <laughs> so <laughs> that way, when people say, "Laura, how's it hanging?" then you can tell them you're not making it up. That's right. right. So, so today, <laughs> hangs it from his belt. <laughs> today you get to brag, Laura, because one. you've just been named the smartest person in Kenosha. <laughs> you're not buying that. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, God. Me, so, I'm smarter than Shirley. No, God, please, no, no. <laughs> so, I assume that you're going to be bringing your husband down uh, to the boathouse with this twenty-five-dollar big one, right? Yes, I will. Well, if you get down there on a Friday at three o'clock, uh, come see us uh, at Get Silly with Scotty, and bring. We might want to bring a little bit extra, because we can do that. And oh yeah, and bring a mistletoe too. Portable. Mistletoe. I can do that. And too. tell your tell your right. husband to uh, bring the lip gloss. <laughs> I always have that. <laughs> no, your husband. Oh, okay. Some of our guys, <laughs> All right, we're not too sure in some of our guys. It's getting weird. <laughs> okay, um, Laura, off the air. Jumbo Jim's going to get your... Let me put her on hold. And, uh, and I'm going to mail this out to you Monday. Okay, I'm going to okay. get all your information. All right, have a great so, holiday. Laura, hang Thanks on. for playing. Don't, don't hang up on us. It's, we, it, so I think I've got air now. Somebody want to talk? <laughs> no, I've got, yeah, I've got a, um, a, a thing, you know, for all the businessmen out there. Or so, women. Spider, you're, run, you're watching a good uh, hey, uh, hey, episode I gotta, of Bonanza I gotta get to this. Today, hey, or? Elmo, Elmo, we're way behind Elmo, here. turn your mic off. Your mic's <laughs> off, Elmo. Jeez, I haven't done We're almost to the end of the first hour, and I haven't wrote, wrote a, 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 read a promo yet. All right. All right, so this is all to the business owners. What, what promo you... What better way to seek new qualified hire? I was supposed to take his place. This is only like 2.30 or 3. He immediately runs over and starts playing away, <laughs> thinking I'm going to take his place. All right, now. Uh, I wanna, can I plug something that's going on tonight in, in Kenosha? What? It's called the Glass Menagerie, and it's playing at the Rhodey Center for the Arts. Is this one of these scams you got going No, it's, I, just, I don't <laughs> have any scams. I'm just promoting something I saw last night, some really great acting from some local actors putting it on. And, and uh, I want to tell people, go on down, check it out. Some really great performances. And uh, the, the show begins at 7.30 at the Rhodey Center for the Arts in downtown Kenosha. You so want to see Go acting. check it out. It's fantastic. You want to see Let's show coming back. Uh, we don't know yet. We're working on you that. See we got a meeting acting. Monday. You ought to come over to Barter Manor. Yeah? You know you know that uh, famous line from Gone with the Wind, Charlotte, I don't give a damn, over at Barter Manor. The... <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. The line... You mentioned Barter, Barter Manor. And... The line is, um, do I have to stay awake for this? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, moving along. Uh, but uh, Thank you for letting me promote that. It's, really, it's a really great show. Glass yeah, but we're, we're looking it's for... a classic. The Glass Menagerie? Menagerie. Menagerie. You know, the last day... Uh, but that, have a that's menagerie a com- in Barter Manor? I yeah, that's, how, that's what I was thinking of, something completely different. Than, okay. All right, but anyway. Uh, speaking of that, because we are community-related, mm-hmm. uh, tonight... No, actually, this is next Friday. Okay. <laughs> well, for, well, first of all, today is Saturday. <laughs> what day is this? November 23rd, okay. I'm looking at... Uh, oh, you're looking at the date. No, they got lots... Uh, the, the the city's tree lighting, oh, and uh, it's. Gonna I be, will be singing there, and okay. it's going to be. Is it true, Emma? And it's going to be in the Lincoln Park Lagoon this year, uh, or did I misread that too? I don't. I don't know if my my hip waiters are that <laughs> big, uh, but uh, no, seriously, it's not in the Lincoln Park Lagoon. No, no, no. Uh, it's going to be from four to five, 
the the uh, and actually they're calling it a Christmas tree, not a holiday. It's Christmas, which it is, sure. and it's going to be uh, right down there by the museums, right by the uh, between the two museums, and at four to nine free trolley rides. Oh mm -hmm. boy! And then uh, uh, five thirty to eight thirty visit with Santa at the at the roadie, mm -hmm. and uh, as we do every if, if you get down there. You can probably sit on, if you're lucky, and slip them a $10 bill. You can sit on uh, Anthony Kennedy's lap and tell him what you want for Christmas. <laughs> do we have a call there? I don't know. Do we? Do we have enough time? Yes, we do. Yep. Uh, good morning. You're on Kenosha Today. Good morning, Kenosha Today. It's Iris Root. Oh. So you finally brought something to the table. My physical. Was that, was that the secret word, mistletoe? No. No. Nope. Close, but oh, no okay. cigar. No. It's not okay. Well, I missed I missed the original part of the program, but lucky you. I, did, I, I heard the I, I, mistletoe is very lucky. It's magic. Um, do you do you have way, mistletoe in your house? Uh, all over, everywhere. Any because, particular reason um, why? <laughs> uh, well, it's a symbol of the Celtic <laughs> ancient history. Um, mistletoe is a part of. Christmas. I was born with Jewish Kabbalah, which is magic. Mm -hmm. Mistletoe do you, do you hang is Kabbalah? associated. Isn't a Kabbalah a big like sausage? Kabbasa. You hang, kabbasa. Yes, kabbasa. No, you hang those no, around? No, no, those? no, no. Magic is it's a gift from God. And even though I was raised Catholic, mm -hmm. I was born with Kabbalah. Magic. It's magic. It's, it's just natural magic from God. It means that you don't have to be, it sounds like snitch. But starts with a W. I think we're losing. Oh, we're losing you, Miss Kebab. Um, it's, it's well, anyway, here we go. <laughs> all right, all right. Hello, hello. I, I guess I have a birthday. I have okay. a birthday coming up next week. Oh. I'm really surprised that you're a Scorpio. You don't I'm a Sagittarius. Miss uh, Kebab, I'm missing you. I'm losing you. Uh, did we lose her again? Yep. I oh. told you. Oh, we lost her. <laughs> I tell you, the snow is just coming down here. Yeah, right the here. snow is just coming down. It's, it's affecting our... Uh, better tell Mr. Perry to put more tinfoil up on that tower out there so we don't lose calls like this. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, from 5.30 to 8.00, you can go down uh, over to the roadie or down um, at the museum and uh, visit with Santa and sit on uh, Anthony Kennedy's lap. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. No, no, this is the one minute. Oh, oh this is what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. This is this is the cue that I this is probably the now cue that we talked about off camera off camera. Make one one more quick call if I can. All right, here. Uh, good morning, you're on Kenosha today. Why would I want to be? You'll have to call me back, uh, or maybe not. I, I gotta go Today? to I gotta go Santa to news. Is... You don't take a call at one minute, Sue. Go ahead, keep talking. Oh, <laughs> hey. Anyway, got a minute uh, to go. you can you can also write a letter to Santa or Miss. Good morning, everybody. If you just joined us, this is Uncle Scotty Barter, and welcome to the November 17th Pick to Click edition of the Kenosha Today Weekly Report, broadcasting live from Studio A here at AM 1050 WLIP on your radio dial. And if you just landed here on the Mayflower, we're all jacked up and getting prepared for the big Thanksgiving celebration on Thursday. Uh, you know, Kenosha just is having a Thanksgiving parade this year. Yeah. And... Uh, they used to have it the last Sunday in June, but they moved it Thanksgiving. And uh, I figured if the wind good is thing. up, I'm going to get a good seat on 6th Avenue, and I'm going to take one of those red life rings, and I think I can nail Santa right in the head. Okay. Are we doing a sea scum float in the, in the parade? Okay. <laughs> yeah, the sea scum has <clears throat> met its fate. Uh, you know, when they winterized that thing, I, I, didn't, <sighs> I just told them to winterize it, but they actually put it in a landfill out in Pheasant Run, so... Anyway, we're being brought to you by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eatery and Barter's Financial Planning Services, along with a host of many other very fine local businesses. As you can tell, we're taking serious journalism to an all-time high, uh, spanning the globe and reporting on national issues, state stories, and local issues. Hey, Emma, um, we had a White House pass. Did that get revoked last week? We never had one to begin with. Oh, yeah, we what, did. Uh, we, that other guy from CNN got his revoked, and yeah. I guess they sent us... He needed uh, to have it revoked. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a jerk. That's all. Well, okay. anyway, joining us uh, this year's Thanksgiving Grand Marshal, the Turkey Terminator, Elmo Schneider, clucks his way to the table. Bark, 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 bark. Now, doesn't that 
Jimbo Jim, don't you just put the little shame that he can come up with a whatever that was. <laughs> same, same thing. Is that the replay? <laughs> Hey, by the way, you know, Psycho Chicken. How did you uh, end up on the um, the cluck? in the Corbell Peace Prize? Did you ever win the Corbell Peace Prize? Super Chicken. Come on, did you win the Corbell? Yes, Peace I Prize? did. Yeah, I see that. I, I beat out K Dog for the Corbell <laughs> Peace Prize. That's a... Say, Mister uh, Engineer, do we have a phone call? Yeah, you want to finish introducing everyone? We'll take care of that then. Well, Spider Ron's here, and yeah. that's about it. This and then you, like some beautiful dream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you had to, you had to wait for that, didn't you? <laughs> Good morning, you're on Kenosha today. Hey, Scott, how you doing? Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Hey, that was a great show last week you had. That was really good. Yeah, the uh, veterans, uh, we had a lot of compliments in that. Dennis, you know, is there better your progress? Uh, on your... Uh, my kidney stone, you mean? Yes. Yeah. It's still progressing. Is it on its way out? Uh, it's moving slowly. It's probably what they would call a turtle kidney stone. I now, don't know. Now, see, for those <laughs> listeners that uh, maybe are first-time listeners, uh, listeners and last time callers. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dennis here has been trying to pass this kidney stone for what, four months? And we appreciate you calling up every week and giving us an update. Um, did you hear well, about I my physical? I just want to warn everybody because you never know when, where and when it's going to come out, you know? Did you hear the results that I uh, talked about earlier, my physical? Did you no, say physical? I, I just uh, joined the show now. My, uh, I had my physical, my doctor's Dr. Bendova. <laughs> yes. And, uh, well, I don't want to go into all the details because Anthony Kennedy thought I took the show to a new time low. <laughs> but, uh, we bend over and say thank you. <laughs> That's what I was saying, I'm talking about. See? We bend over and say thank you. See, doc, Dr. Ben is not exactly your ears, eyes, and throat. He's more of a bend over and grab your ankles and smile type of guy. Yeah, bend over, <laughs> rover, let yeah. no one come over. Yeah, 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 there <laughs> Well, you know, you were, you were talking about Elmo uh, trying to win the uh, Corp. Corbell Peace Prize. Yeah. Uh, the actual Nobel pre Peace Prize, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I believe, are going to do that because they're going without Bell for the entire season. So they will win the Nobel Prize. Oh, hello. By the way, you know, when you're, when you're telling these little stories, <laughs> here's a good idea. <laughs> Have a point. <laughs> it makes it so much more interesting for the listener. It kind of makes your... Kidney stones seem a little no, I, minute. I, I, I like that joke. I like I like that well, joke. That's a good one. Well, you know, all the all these health situations I've been in, I've have I have lost a few kilograms here, and uh, I can remember back I wasn't getting any respect when I was a little heavier. I remember I was lost near the interstate one time, and tried to find out how to get back to it. So I went up to a guy. I said, "Can you tell me how to get to 294?" He said, "Yeah, I lose about 50 pounds." <laughs> <laughs> so you said you, you weren't you said you're not getting any that's what happens when you get married <laughs> that, that trumps your 294 so dennis are considered svelte now <laughs> no i say i've got a long way to go so i'm considered svelte though well i got we got some hot stuff coming up here uh you know with the kenosha today uh uh what do they call him the uh, el chapo he's the head butcher and for those that uh you don't go deer hunting, huh? No, no. Uh, I, I, I don't need the bucks. Two-legged okay. deers. That's what you always hey, uh, Do you hang mistletoe in your house? <clears throat> or is that too personal? Uh, I hang it on the back of my belt. All right, mm -hmm. moving along. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just wanted to add one thing for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Things to be, th be thankful for. I'm thankful for your show. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> the courtesy of Jumbo Jimtronman.com. Uh, uh, well, I guess we had that coming. <laughs> well, oh man, you uh, guys are unbelievable. All right, <laughs> get, get, get into a therapy program. I can't Dennis. believe I it either. <laughs> hey, have a good holiday, all you guys. All right, Thank you, take care, Dennis. <clears throat> <clears throat> Where was I at? <laughs> uh, who knows? <laughs> oh, Captain Mike's supposed to be calling in. Uh, who, who was, by the way, one of the original pilgrims. Came over on the Mayflower. And did he find his scooter yet? He's looking for a scooter for Mexico. He, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he did, but he's not. He's not going to Mexico now? Well, he's, he might be well, going, he's to going to Mexico. He's, he's going, to, he's going to Round Lake Beach instead. 
Sturdivant. <laughs> Sturdivant. <laughs> Take a look at the Foxconn project. <laughs> well, we got another phone call. Yeah, I can imagine what this is going to end up like. Uh, good morning, you're on Kenosha today. Hello, this is just a quickie. Just a quick. A quickie with Shirley. This is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not, this is Jumbo not good. Jim, you got something for this? <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, for, I didn't get a chance to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody and you oh, guys and everybody. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, thank you for. I put my pot out in the garage. Yeah, uh, yeah and Ganga hasn't called yet. I hope yeah, Ganga yeah, calls. Don't, out, don't, uh, don't, don't encourage him. Wisconsin. Clyde, Clyde escapes. Yeah. He's out <laughs> running after Clyde in Pennsylvania. Yeah. That's the whole. He's thing. on the interstate out there in the uh, dirt bike. Yeah, he's somewhere. Call if you can, Ganga. You know, we always like your call. Okay, right. thanks. Sir. Thanks, Shirley. Yeah, yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, gobble, and Scott, gobble, happy no. birthday. Yeah, happy yeah, birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Geez, my hair is starting to hurt again. <clears throat> um, I put my pot out in the garage. <laughs> my, uh, you know, it's it's uh, deer hunting, first day of deer hunting here in Wisconsin. It sure is. I think the uh, goat and sheep uh, season down in Illinois where Doug uh, was weeks ago. That's probably, yeah, he's still probably out there. We their... bend over and say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> then we're, we're waiting right. for Captain to uh, call in. Enlighten us all. Yeah. To find his phone. Yeah. And light this all. Anyway, this is uh, we're gonna do the top ten now. Oh, we are. We're gonna, yeah. Written well, in our home office at a man corner on the deck at the boathouse pub and where gray hairs matter. This week's top ten thought provoking category: the top ten Thanksgiving traditions here in Kenosha. Number ten: traveling over the river and through the pothole to Grandma's crack den. <laughs> number nine: standing on I ninety four in front of Foxconn and dangle a Chinese turkey neck out of the back of your car. Number eight. Getting a good spot at the mall to spit on Santa. Number seven, placing free slices of ham in the trolley's chain slots. Number six, the entire family gathers at the table, holds hands, and recites the Miranda rights. Number five, turning off the Packers game during a coin toss. Boy, that's about the smartest thing I'm going to do. Yeah, this thing. There. Number four. McCarthy will find a way to screw that up. Yeah, having all the kids play the pull my finger game. Number three, stuffing your bird with small bites of uh, roadkill leftover from last year. Number two. Stand with pride when it only takes the Public Works Department three times to put up the city's holiday tree in the Lincoln Park Lagoon. And the number one Thanksgiving tradition here in Kenosha, make damn sure Uncle Scotty still sits at the kids' table. See, I'm, I'm getting a little better. I'm stretching yeah, out. I'm not so premature. That's why. That's why I stay, as I used to be. <laughs> All right. That's why. That's an age thing. That, too, that, that, it's. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 okay. <laughs> moving, uh, moving along. We're gonna moving we're gonna, along. We're gonna get to. Uh, Elmo's gonna talk a little bit about. Uh, uh, what do you call uh, you, Pete's Union Park my, Tavern? My friends at Pete's. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you want to tell us what you're doing for Thanksgiving or your most memorable Thanksgiving, I got to get back to this uh, uh, El Chapo deal. Okay. This is how he's. This is for deer processing. I just as I get this, mm -hmm. I got another phone call. Yeah, deer well, processing. You know, what the hell? Don't hear you call. <laughs> <laughs> I got some great stuff here to process. Okay, there. well, you talk about it after the phone right. call. Good morning, you're on Kenosha today. Good morning, Uncle Scotty. Yes. Oh, Captain Mike. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right. Inspiring Kenosha, Captain Mike. And uh, yeah. the public outcry is, uh, boy, were they crying this week. And so the theme today is Thanksgiving, and you're going to give us a couple ways to be safe this Thanksgiving. That's what you said. How to behave yourself, I yeah. think. And I'm yeah. glad that you wrote this down on a bar napkin and didn't blow your nose into it <laughs> like sometimes happens. So, And that's not on purpose either. No, it's just... <laughs> it's my, my, he sneezes. My it's nose. it's yeah, something I'm, else. Okay, so tell us how I'm to be sick, safe man. this Thanksgiving. So, okay, you can hire security for the turkey. <laughs> how, how, do, how do you do that? Well, you just do it. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Number two, <laughs> you, you, eat, you eat before you go to dinner. Okay. Then you would, you know, That's a safe, like I, can, that. I can see where that would be a safety. You, um, you, you can stay home. That way, that way you, you, you wouldn't have to worry about behaving yourself. Now, you're or, not going to tell me that a lot of thought went into this <laughs> deal, did no, I? No, there wasn't a lot of thought going into <laughs> anything. A lot, of thought, a lot of thought went, went into getting out of bed. That's, that's what <laughs> <laughs> well, since okay. since you're bringing nothing to the table for Thanksgiving, do you uh... wait, no, wait a minute. Wait oh, a minute. okay. He's He's not, you mean there's there's more? Don't invite little Bo Peep. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Captain. Oh, boy. Worst comes to worst, we're in disguise and deny everything. You know, yeah. go ahead. You know, Captain, the murderous sister is here in the studio with us today. So those are... That's the mermaid. I am not the murderous sister. It's the mermaid. <laughs> oh, that's All right. Like Le- Leanne yeah, or somebody Leanne. like that. Yeah. yeah. Howdy doody. I love you. How are you? <laughs> you know everybody, yeah. Okay. Universal love guy. No. Okay. Uh, are you done with uh, your, on ways to behave? Because I got a question for you. Yeah, I'm done. Go ahead. No. Do you uh, uh, display um, mistletoe? <laughs> it killed a band, turkey band. <laughs> I'm he's talking. trying to think and concentrate. Well, he's, 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 only you can hear it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you hear that turkey stuff in the background? I hear all kinds of jerky stuff. Not in the jerky yeah. stuff, turkey stuff. Okay, now here's Snurky. the question. Snurky. Oh, okay, all right. Do you do you uh, display mistletoe openly around your house? Oh, here we go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what mistletoe this. is? It cures oh. athlete feet. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Now right. that's the best I'm answer I've heard all day about. <laughs> It's okay, the best answer I heard all day. There you are. <laughs> that's the best. Talk that's the here. best answer I've heard all morning long. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Much. Thank you, my friend. Okay, guys. Well, at least yeah. your at least your see time it. wasn't wasted, right? <laughs> see you at church. Yeah, okay, Mike. Bye-bye. We'll see you around, buddy. Okay, Take bye-bye. care, Mike. See all right. Wow. Okay. He's, oh. he's a he's he's a Kenosha treasure. That man. Yeah, he's on that's display it. at the uh, at the <laughs> he's museum. He's on display at the dinosaur museum. The Captain Mike exhibit. Anyway, do you want? I got to go back to my. I'm gonna. I'm hell bent unless I get. Uh, okay, calm. do it. This is uh, the deer processing. This okay. is the, my recipe. Oh, okay. it's, actually, it's not me. It's the head butcher, El Chapo Booze Man. Okay. And here's here's What's deer processing. It's chainsaws and no, a wood no, chipper. No, what, what, this what, is El Chapo. Here's what he does. He rolls all the fat mm-hmm. into a cast iron skillet, laced with uh, 20 pounds of grizzle, and then you add back the uh, fur and the back fur and the bushy tails. Okay. You add two cups of ice melt, that to kind of help the thawing process, you see. Mm-hmm. Stir in six ounces of liquid KY jelly. Interesting. And then you cook it for 10 minutes at 500 degrees. Mm-hmm. Let it stand for three days. And what, sh- what you have is El Chapo's 3S Burger, Slippery Sliders Supreme. Ooh, that uh, sounds See, this guy uh, should have called sounds, a little earlier. <laughs> that, that sounds different. <laughs> Good morning, Aaron Kenosha, morning. today. Hello. How are you guys this morning? Eric. Hey, Eric. Hey, how's it going? Oh, very good. You had a good uh, announcer voice. You know, I voice. really liked the answer. Higher, higher security for the turkey, man. That was that was uh, original. That's our boy. <laughs> he came up with some good answers today, though, better than normal. Well, he's what's speaking normal? of normal. Yeah, what's, <laughs> what's that? Normal? We don't have a lot of standards here, you know. So. <laughs> uh, well, I've been listening. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing but right about this. <laughs> you know what they say: when life gives you snow. Makes no angels. There you go. <laughs> um, I didn't write that down, yeah, so you, I hope it. <laughs> I had, yeah, when life gives you snow, makes no angels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to take the morning off, you know. We have that problem with the stopper on the gin bottle, and uh, it's, it's a lot of work. To, now, don't I know that? Problem. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, hey, the doctor said you're preserved and you're ready to go for another 100 years. He said I was pickled. Yeah, well, yeah you hey, know. The, when the, the doctor... don't go bad, do they? Oh, yeah, listen to this. Well, after my physical, the uh, doctor says, well, I asked him well, what he thought. He says, well, you're in perfect shape for a guy that's 130 years old. And, yeah, and he's, uh, he says, uh, you're second, second up in, he says, you're ugly, too. <laughs> anyway, uh, then he puts me up on Facebook, and uh, I'm, I'm the heartthrob of any gal over 100 these days. Well, you know, all you can do is keep trying. I mean, they throw the ball, you swing. If you hit it, you, you, well, hopefully you'll knock it out of the park. Yeah, if you, not, you know, you run as again. fast as you can. Jeez, then Jeez, you hit th- it again. Thanks, Coach, for all the encouragement. <laughs> then you hit it again. <laughs> then you hit this it again. This might give you a little, you know, might make you sleep better at night. You know, do you know while we're sleeping, people eat over, they say over 70 or more different insects and 10 spiders, 10 different types of spiders while you're eating at night. You know, I heard that. What I was listening to something on the television this morning. I'm like, that's pretty not okay. Is this something you learn in bartender school? Oh, no. In bartender school, they teach us how to make the patrons happy. You know, Eric, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're my guy. I don't know what happened. I, I, I missed that chapter, I think. I, th- anyway. I, think most, I think most of the bartenders in this town missed that. Uh, so missed that did day. you hear the, the city's new announcement Not that uh, when they have the tree lighting next, next Friday, 
Uh, Which I'll be singing at. Yeah, Elmo's going to be singing, but Captain Mike's going to be... Alone? Five Cap o'clock. Captain Five Mike is going to be dressed as Santa and inviting all the uh, young little soccer moms to come sit on his lap. Well, you should have thought of that. Yeah, where the hell was I? <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? I heard they're going to run... They're, they're trying to cut costs on electricity, too, so they're just going to run the extension to cord from Captain Mike's house to light the tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's red nose. Yeah, his red nose. That's what they're going to put on the, the Christmas dinner this year by saving the electricity. Now, you, you've been to uh, his uh, 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 Captain Mike's estates there. Does he really? Uh, yeah, you should live right upstairs. Now, as soon as I finish my espresso and have a bloody Mary. He, yeah, but he, <laughs> um, he, he displays openly. He's openly displaying mistletoe, right? Well, I should close his robe. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that, that was his heads up that I will be coming over. What are you, Fox fan? So okay, okay, he's, okay. he's got those little boxer yeah, shorts you know, with the little elves I, on I them. I use you guys as like the siren horn, you know, when we hear when they're like the storms coming. And the, the, you know, this was another interesting thing I heard on that show this morning. They said that, uh, you know, more collect phone. What day of the year is the most collect phone calls made? Thanksgiving. No. I don't know they had collect phone calls anymore. Yeah. That, from prison. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> that was an interesting I thought. But it's Father's Day. On Father's Day is the most collect phone ah. calls made in the world. <laughs> from prison. Well, the, I'm going to speak are for... Are you a father, Eric? Or don't you <laughs> yeah, know yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, okay. no I, I'm a... Uh, I'm a, a we know a, what a you are. Tender, remember? <laughs> yeah, we, we know tender. what you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyway, <laughs> uh, one last question. That, one last Men question. were six times more likely to be struck by lightning than women. That's pretty crazy, That's too. That's because they're not married to men. <laughs> hey, um, it's, all the curses they put, it's all the curses they put on us. Let's see, now I had one more question to ask you. Um, all right. Ah, uh, shoot, I forgot. Oh. Right, see, uh, all right, all right, right there you go. 150 there. people are killed every year by falling coconuts. That was another one, too. Remember okay, that one? all right, this is all, <laughs> all good, <laughs> good questions. I remember but my, being in Mexico, is, okay. and, you know, some people put their chair, the chairs right underneath the palm trees to okay. get a little shade. We don't, we don't the, care. Here, now, listen. Okay, what, listen what, what is happening? One question, one question, all right. and that? then I got to let you go. If you, if you know. Make it worth it, or I'll have to charge you 25 cents. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in control. Have you here. had any road rage from a fat woman lately? I hey. did, and I wasn't going to bring it up because, you know, you've had a couple calls today that were got me close to making that phone call to talk about it. But, oh, man, the no turning the head thing and just hitting the gas pedal. I mean, come on. I mean, if you're that handicapped that you can't turn your dang head, don't drive. Don't put other people at risk. Hey, you know, as long as you're on this, and then I got, then I really got to let you go. I got my driver's license renewed um, uh -huh. this week, and you know I'm an organ donor? Really? <laughs> what organ? <laughs> That's why we're keeping you pickled. The, 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 gal, we the gal's taking my picture. La heaven. Laving there her, we her go. tail off. So. All, All right, right, Eric, I got to go. I'm, I'm a little Stay behind out of trouble. You. All right, thanks oh, for the call, trouble. I think. All right. Um, excuse me, I had a bubble here. <laughs> Burp. A uh, big thank you to the <coughs> Boathouse. We're back and heading down the home stretch on the Kenosha Today trolley ride this morning. You just joined us. This is the November 17th edition of the Kenosha Today Weekly Report, broadcasting live to over 1.4 million people residing here in the WFA listening area, being brought to you by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eatery and Barter's Financial Planning Services, along with a host of many other very fine local businesses. Fine. This morning's cast of characters, uh, the Turkey Terminator, Armo Schneider's here. And I have the clue. Okay, let me get to that. Secret let, let, me, let me go around the horn here once. Uh, you from you the can't get off your, your thing. I'm, I'm fixed. You I'm fixed. Have have or do anything. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't. Okay, you're on it. Go ahead. Let him the well, clue no, for the secret. We're doing, you're doing so well, Scott. Okay. Just, you're ready to go around the horn okay. and then get to back to him. <laughs> okay. It's your show, buddy. Do it. Since when? when? <laughs> my name's not on this show. Say my name. From the galaxy called Say Spider Dome, the love doctor, Spider Ronnie. And, of course, the engineer, board operator, Jumbo, Jimtron, man.com. What? Uh, Selovich, filling in for uh, Wacky Wayne. Uh, you guys want to come over to my house for a Thanksgiving? Uh, no. But thanks for asking. Okay. What do you say? want to think it over? <laughs> the secret word is what is Uncle Scott to be serving for Thanksgiving? 2626941050. Uh, yeah, if you come over and you want it to go box. <laughs> I got. I was going to add that I got plenty of rot got vodka, and we call it Uncle Scotty's. An expired 
Uh, barter coins. Gift certificates. Okay, uh, that's how I get paid. We are here each, each and every Saturday morning from 10 a.m. until noon. And again, if you happen to miss our Saturday show, uh, you can turn uh, tune into AM 1050 WIP tomorrow and relive the magic. Relive the magic. Uh, status of the secret word. No one won. Elmo just gave no it a Packers hit. this Sunday either. So yeah. you can. Hey, well, you can. There was no Packers Thursday. In. There was no Packers Thursday night either. <laughs> I think. As long as you brought that up, I think McCarthy's toast. Well, I think they should get rid of him now. I mean, yeah, why, why wait and avoid the rush? I mean, he, he, he looks like he's out there in a deer in the headlight. You know, you know I mean, and, I mean, and, and, and that's the ups and downs of football. Hero one day, zero the next. I mean, the time, is, time has come. Yeah. Thank, thank you for your service. Yeah. Thank you for bringing us to a Super Bowl. God bless you, man. Amazing right. coach in his day. Yeah. In his day. He, I, I have said he might be a good or, coach organizer. But mm-hmm. I think he's a lousy well, bench coach. He was coach a great coach everybody. in his day. I don't know what he's covering his mouth for and when that was small like, plays because everybody knows what's coming. And that was eight years ago. Yeah. They should replace him with yeah. Diana Ditka. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> or Irish Ruth. And Shirley. That's, give, that's, give these guys a purpose in let's life. Let's not encourage them. And you see Shirley st- <laughs> Storman and Irish Ruth uh, storming down the sidelines at Lambeau Field? Then they go to Shirley's house and... I put my pot out in the garage. Yeah, she and they all the get drug tested. Test. They all get tested and uh, then yeah. we're done. If you, if you can't blow at least a point oh .08, you're not on the team. Oh, well. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, it's time for this week's special editorial segment, High Five Zingers and Doofuses. This morning's headliner is as the... As the giblets, the giblets turn. turn oh! like, like the sands in the hourglass in the days of our lives. Uh, this week's high five goes to all the wonderful folks who took the time and attended one of the many Veterans Day programs that were held throughout Kenosha County in the last weeks. Also to all the various schools who invited area vets and held their own tributes to honor and salute our veterans. I can't think of anything more American than having young kids participate in Veterans Day programs with patriotic music, poetry, and saying thank you for giving us all our freedoms. And this week's zinger, I can only imagine what this is going to be. Elmo? This week's zinger goes to the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction for giving a 71.6 uh, grade to the Kenosha School District. And them thing, it was they get above expectations. What the hell is that? <laughs> well, you know, when I was in school, a 70 was a D minus. Okay, uh, you know. My dad was I, happy I, if I got that. <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell they're talking about there. I tried to go online and find out what actually the expectations are, but I couldn't find anything about that at all. If you're Okay, if if if, if you're out there, uh, <laughs> Sue Savaglio, please call me up and uh, okay. let me let me know what the hell those expectations oh, are supposed okay. to be. At least we had two schools that scored in the '90s, and congrats to their. Yes. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, okay. But, this but, but that's good. <laughs> okay. This week's so I just want to know what the hell the expectations are. How and why the hell's going on? I think we get it, right? <laughs> All right. Almost got a question. No, okay. Anyway, this week's doofus goes to. Uh, and the folks, you, this is going to be shocking. Uh, this week's doofus goes to the Kenosha's Public Works Department for having to redo the danger no swimming sign that was recently installed at the Pike River outlet. <laughs> to this we say, Poppy Cock. How difficult is it to print a sign that says, you swim here, you will die here, in English or Spanish or any other language? And here we had just voted to increase the tax levy by 900000 to hire additional fire and police. I say... Forget closing the dark uh, store loophole, and maybe we should figure out how to do things correctly the first time around and not always have the expense of fixing our mistakes, which, by the way, are getting very costly. But, hey, I say legalize marijuana and uh, be doggone sure every city worker gets a fatty on a regular basis, and then we'll get this whole mess straightened out. I put my pot out in the garage. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you have it, folks, as the, as the giblet turns for this Saturday, November 17th. Oh! I'm Scotty Barter, and I prove this message. What? How, how can we get to put like nets out on the uh, on the pier? Like well, you, you know, know, you know, like, no, like no, we can just, just wait till the right, kids right, right, right. Dr- jumping and drown. Yeah. We we'll get we we'll get like yeah, a smell fish. Yeah, we can just we can, yeah. No, 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 we're on the air. We're on the air. Anyway, that now in the picture in the news was this week on on Thursday. They had showed a picture of one of the kiosks. Well, the the rope's missing. Oh, that's funny. And this, they only put these How in. long do they say it before somebody steals something? We, we both said, oh, my be, be Before stolen. 30 days, they were be stolen. stolen. Yep. Here's, here's I, got, I got another brilliant <clears throat> idea. I'll pass this Oh, boy. Oh, no. It's <clears throat> your first one. We, we just freeze Lake Michigan okay. so nobody can dive in. And you problem solved. Year round. The whole, yeah, the whole lake is frozen. 
and you can't you can't possibly do that it. won't cost anything no Jeez, I gotta do all the thinking around here. Well, I know a guy. He swam I across. I know nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I know a guy who swam across the harbor on purpose. So they gave and the, they arrested him and gave a hundred seventy-five dollar fine for mm -hmm. you know. That's sad. meanwhile right. people drown in the harbor. Do they find those people at all? They, yeah, they find them sooner or later. Well, we're, not, we're we're sympathetic with anybody that. Well, away, it, it, I mean, it, it's you cannot regulate. That's a whole can of right? can of beans that we need to talk about another time. Um, okay. So. I you, can have Thank you, Mr. Jumbo Jim Tron. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, we, beans, beans. if anybody wants to play, we got a few minutes left here. Stump the chumps. Uh, we usually try to build up the act here, but if uh, you're successful in stumping the chumps, you then have the privilege and high honor of joining us as a guest host, like uh, Dickie Baltus and his wife, uh, yeah. what was her name, Trisha. Mrs. Don't, Baltus. Yeah, no, don't, mm -hmm. Trisha, don't call me Pat uh, on an upcoming show. You know, and I think, uh, and then uh, Pete won a couple times from Antioch. And so if you win, you're successful in stumping us. This is when we hear, uh, I don't know if this is going to make any difference. Hit me with your best shot, but probably lost its luster now. 262-694-1050. Oh, wrong shot. Okay. <laughs> and who's, who the chumps are this morning is myself, Elmo, and his uh, special guest, um, the blonde lady. Wow. And uh, Leanne, is it? It's Le yeah. it's no. Leanne. No, what's your name? Not I'm a sorry. real name. Nobody introduced me to her, by the Boo -boo. way. Well, there's a reason for that. Boo-boo? Boo boo. <laughs> I'm Bam Bam. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Bam Bam. Hey, spiders here. How you doing? Bam, bam. This is How not uh, dating.com uh, here. <clears throat> I'm in control here. Anyway, <laughs> if anybody wants to, <laughs> I can see that. I'm in control. If anybody uh, hey. wants to uh, tell us what they're doing for Thanksgiving um, or their most memorable Thanksgiving, uh, give us a call. And you know when they had the vote, we haven't, we had the, um, after the election. And I think it was November 4th. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, we voted to uh, close the loophole. Mm -hmm. And then they voted to, uh, as an advisory vote, to legalize um, medical marijuana. Yeah. How did you vote on that? Oh, I voted for <laughs> it. Absolutely. Actually, a lot of my friends go, you mean it's not legal now? I mean, we thought it was 88% <laughs> well, of the people Medicinal voted. uses yeah. absolutely should be done. You know what? Well, forget the medicinal. Just my, if you're going to make it medicinal, yeah. uh, just we could talk three far hours. out, we man. Could, we could talk three hours on this. Yeah. But 88% of Wisconsin voted for this. Yes. Yep. And, and if some of these yahoos up in Madison say, well, they didn't give a mandate, 88% is a pretty healthy mandate, I think. I think so. And uh, how, can, how can these guys up there, of course, some of them are Republicans, Elmo, right? So, I mean, what yeah, do you know? I like to never smoke to before, right? Hey, uh, one of the other interesting I never oh. inhaled. <laughs> hey, speaking of that. Yes. <laughs> kind of a blend. Did you see Monica Winston's having a three-part story coming out about sure she is. the true story about her and Bill Clinton? That's 25 years ago. Who cares? She got her books and she got her money. I don't care about Monica Lewinsky. Unless she yep. st shows up at Barter Manor some night, then maybe we can have a discussion along those lines. But <laughs> <laughs> She'd be so disappointed. <laughs> So, Uncle Scotty, you see the, the Clinton studio tour or stadium tour was canceled because due to lack uh, of uh, uh, no, ticket okay, sales. So, okay. okay, where are you going with this where joke? Where was it going to go? The Clinton? You're going, you're going there with that joke? There's no there joke. There's there's no there's no joke. joke. There was. That was what? What stadium? Stadium. No, the the Clintons were going to do a stadium tour. Oh, the Clintons. Were, okay. oh, they, oh, okay. They had to cancel the whole tour due to lack of ticket sales. So yeah, was, that's right. That's uh, one couple of things I wanted to mention here, and you can draw your own conclusions. The uh, Kenosha News Publisher. I don't know how to draw. <laughs> some of our listeners don't know how to draw, and some don't aren't allowed to use sharp objects like crayons. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <I'm, laughs> Kill the band. Uh, Kenosha News uh, Publisher Randy Rickman is going to be leaving at the end of the year. He's only been here about three years. And I just got to wonder, you know, the paper has been, been that long. Is, it's, it's been here, yeah, 14, been, three or four years, four years maybe. And most of the paper. most of the writers are gone. Most of the photographers, photographers are, are gone. gone. Yeah. There, there ain't a whole lot of people left don't down even, there. Don't even, yeah. And uh, a, lot of a lot of newspaper is gone. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's going to be some lo a future for the Kenosha News after the first yeah. of the year. I like, I, I seriously it's like a, getting up in the morning, uh, putting my bathrobe on. Thank God. And, and something else, and, and go down and, and thank get you my too. paper off the porch right. and, and, and reading it. Just keep Captain Mike out of this. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. 
anyway, that if anybody wants to comment on that, two, well, six, it's just two, a, six, a sign four. of the times. I mean, there's well, a lot of newspapers are going under. It's and it's uh, yeah, the ads and most of the Kenosha news now is just all pictures, and uh, so. If anybody wants to uh, weigh in on, uh, oh, are we ready for winter? Oh, you had a couple things you wanted to bring on on drive on traveling tips. Do you remember what that any of them are? Well, traveling tips just uh, don't be disturbed if they refuse you to get on the air, airline flight when you try to bring your comfort alligator on. Uh, yeah, you can't do that onto the flight. They okay. frown on that now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's that's the number one tip that. Uh, as you can see, a lot of thought. Uh, snow on the ground on the on the roads. Don't drive like idiots. Yeah. Pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. That's something. Anyway. <laughs> pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. With the gold in your mouth. Hat turned sideways. Pants hit the ground. Call yourself a cool cat. Looking like a fool. Walking downtown with your pants on the ground. Get it up. Hey, get your pants off the ground. You know, he was on, was it American Idol? Wasn't yeah. Somebody, yeah, yeah. And everybody laughed. And I remember Simon saying, I think you got a future. Look at the money that guy made with that thing. <laughs> Maybe I got a future in music. Maybe I don't. Anyway, um, this is uh, from uh, Pete's Union Park Tavern. What was that? <laughs> Those are crickets. Oh, the crickets. <laughs> Pete's you Union Park. You just have these lulls every now and then. And it's just like I was uh, taking a breath. Uh, okay. I mean, my doctor says that breathing breath. is going to add to my. Uh, was that from your physical? No, I've already. Covered. You want to hear more about my physical? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> She says one word all day long, and that's it. Just bend I'm over I'm and I'm with Boo Boo. Be I'm with Boo Boo. <laughs> anyway, I'm here with this uh, Pete's Union Park Tavern, the scoop that Elmo puts together. And uh, th this month in history, uh, guess what? Blackbeard the Pirate. In mm -hmm. 1718, Blackbeard the Pirate was killed. 1718, <laughs> we took a little trip. <laughs> I think somebody's taking a little trip over <laughs> there right now. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? This is why, oh, so this is why we legalize marijuana. He's, a, he's, a, he's a singer with his headphones on. Ron is singing along. In 1934. That was 1814, by the way. Ba oh, wow. Babyface Nelson was killed. Yeah, this is a... Uh, and here's what the scroll oh, this is. 1939. They failed uh, Hitler assassination. Schickle Gruber. Yep. And uh, actually, we all remember 1122 and 63. I remember ninth grade, okay. one ten. I was in in uh, civics class. Man, you're old. Well, it's his birthday this week too. It's my birthday. Yeah, talk about the People's Temple massacre. <laughs> that happens to be on it. <laughs> so really, really joyful things in the morning. And here, here, that's uh, what I write. Eleven nineteen ninety eight. Bill Clinton impeachment begins. Okay. And then uh, here's my um, my horoscope. This is according to uh, Pete's Union Park Tavern, the scoop. My horoscope is a little green man that smells your feet when you are asleep will begin living under your bed. Well, I finally will get some company then, I think, by the end of the Wait week. Wait till next month. I got some really good ones. So. <laughs> what's, what's Leo? Read mine. Leo, don't eat Chinese food this month. If you are forced to go to a Chinese restaurant, pretend to know Mandarin and claim the staff insulted you. You know, Jim and I share the same birthday. That's right. That's right. Oh, August that's right. 19th. You, and Bill Clinton. August 19th. Yeah, right? Bill Clinton. And, and Bill Clinton. We're all, we're all together. Not involved in this. Here's, here's some of the uh, classifieds here. Uh, help wanted. Person needed to grind or chew hay for a horse with bad teeth. Well, I think everybody should get on that. All right. Uh, personals. Young farmer with 100 acres would be pleased to hear from Why a young lady with a tractor. Please send a photographer to the tractor. I, did, I thought it was amusing. And it's, uh, yeah. I thought, okay, I'll go I, back to something I, exciting. I, well, how about Stump the Chump? Nobody's called up. Yeah, stump the Chump. Two, six, nine, four, we got 10, ten minutes left. We got 10 minutes, minutes left in the show, and Nobody's folks. guessed the secret word. Nobody's yeah. guessed the secret word. Boy, look at the phone lines light up now. 262-694-1050. <laughs> this composes most of a <laughs> four-ounce filet it, at Barter Manor. Okay, and, 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 and if you stump us chumps, you win. You get to come in here and sit with us. You yeah, that's a prize. That is. Uh, so, uh, 262-694-1050, you have a question you think we don't know. We know everything. Uh, well, a little, you. a little <laughs> bit about everything. Anyway, again, Friday, November 23rd, we are trying to be civic-minded. Uh, the big lighten up trees uh, ceremony. I'm singing at 5 o'clock with oh, a yeah. bunch of the Germans. Which, which will be down there. So. Is this this uh, uh, choir that... Uh, Discriminates against women. <laughs> the, Only Irish the, truth. Oh, okay. Did you hear about that, Jim? No, I, yeah, I did. Well, he's got this no, all-male German choir. If you're a woman, you can join. Just we'll take your money, but Some, you don't get to sing. 
Soprano. See, mm-hmm. Now we got a call. Now we upset somebody. Yeah, okay, here we go. All right. Good morning. You're on Kenosha today. Yeah, it's Stump the Chumps. Sure, go ahead. Who's this? Yeah, it's Jeff from Racine. Jeff, okay, let me write this down. Jeff. Okay, the question is, who is the first woman to win the uh, Congressional Medal of Honor? Hmm. Rosa Parks. Who? Rosa Parks. Irish Ruth. Was it Rosa Parks? The, the, no. no, the Medal of Honor. I'm going to say it was uh, Susan B. Anthony. No. All right, do we get one more guess? <laughs> Oprah. Sure. Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was Mary Walker. Mary Walker, of course. In the Civil War. In the Civil War. What did she do? Was oh, she wait, married wait, to wait. Kevin? Maybe it was earlier than that. What did she do? Well, hang on. You don't know when it is. How do we know this is right? No, I, I, I had a <laughs> What was her first name? Uh, Mary. Mary. Mary Walker. But what did she do? She won. She was the a, first, yeah, I think she was a nurse. Oh. Well, we didn't vote for her. Did you guys vote for her? Ronnie, you, did you vote no, for Mary uh, Walker? We didn't, we didn't vote for her. No. Dr. Mary Walker. Dr. Mary Walker. She was an American abolitionist. Prohibitionist. You got it? You got it right here? I, I guess. Did you ring it up on your uh, she, computer? Uh, pr- she was a prisoner of war and a surgeon. She was the she only was. only woman to ever receive the Medal of Honor. Correct. You mean Rosa Parks never won? She won like a Peace Prize or something. Oh, 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 oh okay. This is Medal of Honor. Typhoid Mary. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, Jeff, is it snowing? Is it still snowing up there in Racine? No. Oh, good. So it's Jeff, just, it's just hanging there, you know? All right. <laughs> Well, it's like it hasn't figured out what it wants to do yet. You got big plans. But for it's t- all good for the hunters out there if they like it sloppy. <laughs> A lot of hunters do like it sloppy. <laughs> you got big plans for Thanksgiving, Jeff? Oh, you bet. What are you going to do? I'm going to go to Tahiti. Oh. They like a sloppy there, too. <laughs> are you just flying or are you going to... Uh, no, I'm going to swim. I don't, boy. No, just don't swim in our harbor. Good it- for the cardiovascular. Yeah. Did you have a physical re- recently? Did I? Yeah. No. Oh. Then you don't want to hear about mine, do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess not. Hey, what do you think of the uh, the concept of putting uh, uh the racing? Is it the Racing Journal Times? Yeah. Combining it, put, it, putting the Racing Kenosha. Uh, News. They will still have no content. Well, I mean, it'll be five, five pages. They're using a lot of the uh, same ads and for the same businesses. Mm-hmm. So yep. that's 